Hey guys, today we're trying close to the sun. Ooh, punctuation. Oh, oh, okay. For a second there, I thought we were just going like right in. I'm like, I haven't even had a chance to check to see if you're in whatever resolution that is. All right, let's get this very Bioshock looking game started. Don't know a lot, don't know a lot about what I'm getting myself into. But I know what the first thing is that I think when I see what it looks like. <laughs> Prologue, the brilliance of Ada. My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning, and now need me aboard the Helios? What aren't you telling me? That tripped me out hard. She was holding the letter perfectly fixed in the air, and I'm like, how are you, how are you doing that? Like it was, uh, she was adjusting her grip everywhere, but the letter wasn't moving at all. And I, I get that it's to fix it in place uh, for readability's sake, but it was really trippy. I'm like, how she was able to keep like stroking it and everything. Warden Cliff. Yeah, Warden Cliff. little details here and there you can find out. Welcome aboard. Please wear the official Helios outfit provided by Warden Cliff. Oh, that's the company's name. Please leave your luggage and personal belongings in the shuttle. Everything will be automatically transferred into your personal room once assigned. That is the uniform on the ship. Alright. Certainly themed. The Helios. The eighth wonder of the world. A triumph of engineering for the advancement of science uh, join the Helios crew. Apply to your local Warden's Cliff office. Oh, there's the easier to read screen. Whenever that stuff comes up, I always... W Ooh, look at that. I always wonder, like, in these crazy alternate worlds where technology's nuts, they're always like, it's the eighth wonder of the world. I'm like, really? A, w a world this fantastical and they haven't made up another eighth before this one? You're aiming low with your made-up universe. Should be like the 17th wonder of the world. Our world's fucking crazy. It was working all right. It just sounded a little funny. I apparently couldn't be asked to just pre-record the message, so it had to be a computerized voice. I feel like the wood might not be in... Like, as a permanent fixture on this thing, I feel like the wood might not last. I don't know. I don't know shit about that stuff.
Chapter 1, The Border of Hermes. There we go. I will say that the loading is not short each time. I might edit it out. But there's a there's a bit of waiting each time we fade to black. Sea waves conquered by radio waves. A warden, the Warden Cliff Automatic Shuttle Fleet, autonomous and autopiloted. This is some art direction. Check this place out. Now it looks it looks a bit better now that I can see it in better lighting. When I saw it before, I thought because the because the uh, the reflective sheen that's on part of it and not other parts and so on, I thought that I was seeing like exposed wood as the paint was chipping off and stuff like that. And so I thought it was like I thought the water was getting through it. I don't I don't know know a lot about finishing wood and so on, but it didn't look promising. <laughs> Like Andromeda all over again. Are those oil derricks out there? What are those? Oh, there you are. I'm like, where's this light that's flickering? Wait, but you're on the wrong side of this to be causing that. endeavor that cruises in luxury while the rest of the world is left to fend for itself. If that flickering light's supposed to make this this stuff flicker, shouldn't the light be like over here, not over there? That's the, huh? Look at the gradient, the mist. What? Did I see something? What happened? I don't know what that what was that musical sting for? Did a jump scare happen? Does this game have jump scares? Seems like I'll have to let myself in. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> the ship rat. Active spy. Isolate and eliminate. Does he not have a name? Is he just known as the ship rat? Spy, Eric, Catherine, and Tom. Looks like we have a little bit of a sprint. Warden Cliff, a company distributing electricity to half of the world and yet still hungers for that other half. Harbor, so we're there. And I imagine the whole game takes place on this boat, right? A lot of locations if they actually made them all. Damn. The art's fantastic. Oh. Quarantine. Quarantine? What have you got yourself into, Ada? Uh. Great. Did it? Did I blink and miss it? Did it? Did it animate closing, or did it was it instantly closed? I think I blinked at that exact moment or something. 
Uh, yeah, you don't want to go through a door and from the wrong side and find out the other side's at quarantine, generally speaking. Especially not in Bioshock font, with the, <laughs> the wall writing. Yeah, so far, Bioshock vibes are super heavy. Super heavy. I actually don't know what genre we're in, though. Is this an immersive sim, or is it like a walking simulator style? Blech. I like how this elevator seems to be about to fall. If that is an elevator... I think it's an elevator. So far I walk up to waypoints and click once, and then an animation plays. Elma, there's some blood. We're being really chill about this whole thing. We're like, just my luck. Man, what an inconvenience. What have you got yourself into, Ada? You scamp. And it's like, horrifying. Join him. You too can change the world. Join Mr. Tesla aboard Helios today. Is, is Nikola Tesla the replacement, the stand-in for Andrew Ryan? Warden Cliff. Not conquer this plant. I have to walk around it. We're gonna have to walk. Oh wait, no, I have a jump. I found the jump. Oh, I might still be able to not be able to conquer it. Alright, no. Running jump. I did it. <laughs> That's interesting. How hard it was to jump over that. Ooh. Okay. They would have seen me too. Isn't that where I came in? It's like they would have seen me come in. They know about me. Out of order. Use the ladies' room. Keep it clean. You can't stop me. Okay, you, you can't. Damn it. They've defied me with locks. What? We're doomed. My bladder's going to explode. That's the ending of the game. Welcome. Now, what have you done with my sister? They're in, they're interrogating Andre Lachenko, refusing to give off the name of target agent. So Eric, Tom, and Catherine are here. I. Or is it, is it their death? Is that when they died? Well, that would have, person would have been two years old. What do these dates mean? They, what, what do these dates mean? Oh, two years, two years, and three years. So are these aliases that, that this person took on? Once in the 70s, then twice in the 90s? I really spaced out, at least. Hmm. Context. Whoa. Did you put your hand up? You did put your hand up. Send agents to St. Paul's Cathedral, Rome, used as dead drop location. There's a whole thing. There's a bunch of context going on here. Evidently. I like how Western Australia is written across the entirety of Australia, basically. That's interesting. Everyone else seems to be listed as their country name. But that's just Western Australia. But there's no there's no Eastern Australia. Isn't Western Australia mostly the empty part? A huge map. That's how we chart where we are, so is that our current location? In the middle of the Atlantic? Uh, 
Ah. There's like spy networks. It's like charting their paths and what they've been up to. Wardencliffe Passport for... I can't really read that. Zhenghuai... I can't really read that either, technically. <laughs> Zhenghuan Choi from Seoul, Korea. Because there it wouldn't have been North or South Korea back then. Hello. A little rough. I don't have enough context for a lot of this stuff. So I think I'm going to move forward. But apparently Tesla's paranoid about incoming spies and thinks that I'm one of them. Incident report. In accordance to procedure protocol A-12, officers greeted the shuttle from Sydney upon arrival. When the guest did not appear as instructed, the officers embarked the shuttle to perform a standard search. The guest was not found aboard, and neither was any of the issued Wardenclyffe paperwork or issued clothing. Further inspection of the vessel revealed a noticeable but harmless indentation on the starboard side of the shuttle. There was no record of this dent when the vessel left Sydney, so it is possible that the shuttle was boarded by another ship while en route to the Helios. This is the 11th incident of similar nature this year alone. The vulnerable nature of our automatic shuttles has to be corrected. The ID documentation and Wardenclyffe uniforms that are regularly lost could provide Edison with enough information to create convincing forgeries. I have yet to receive any reassurance that measures are being taken to prevent these incidents from reoccurring. Security Officer De Rossi. Okay, so they're they're in they're in a spy war, Edison and Nikola Tesla. Kinda of, kinda of feels like some maybe fantastical exaggeration of their real life conflicts where Edison was supposedly profiting off of Oh, I thought that was like like an Assassin's Creed mask, but it's just uh, somebody's hat, and then their shirt is being held up behind them because they're being carried by Doctor Manhattan. Uh, hmm. But supposedly the idea was that Edison was like would just actively profit off of basically stealing uh, Tesla's ideas. While using skeevy strategies to try to uh, discredit or scare people about anything that Tesla made. Renowned Russian mathematician Ivanov, Ivan Asanov joins Wardenclyffe. Work on a yet unannounced project, according to sources. Moscow issues formal complaint against Wardenclyffe. Shit. Security override. Hmm. Well, I guess I'll have to disable it. That's going to be a problem. Do I have a flashlight or a, any lantern or anything? I think I'm supposed to follow these pipes. I lost it in the darkness. Does it go inside that booth? I think it does. Uh-huh. Find my way in there. Okay, that might not be good. Can I force it open? No. Well, I believe I was just in there earlier. Try to get back inside. Yeah, right over here. So up, up makes you open. Or at least that's what we already said to. Oh, that's the door I'm already at. Okay. Ah. Okay. One more to go. Oh man. They're tracking down the vapors. Yeah, you still think vaping's cool? Coming for you. No, I have not been in here before. This is a different Yeah, this, this is full of desks. It's a different meeting room. It, I think this is just a common Visual. So for a moment, I thought it was the place I was I was just in. Fancy. Edison does not denies espionage. Uh, espionage. 
denies espionage allegations. Accusations are merely circumstantial, claims Edison. Preparations for a countersuit on the way. It's completely like bowled over those words. French climatologist Jean Villepro seen boarding shuttle vessel to the Helios. Another high profile scientist joins the ever growing Helios crew. Wasn't that the premise of Rapture? Andrew Ryan found a bunch of the brightest, ambitious people that might want to work in a world that where they don't have as many much red tape getting in the way of their ambitions, and then they did Rapture, and uh, then bad things happened. Because sometimes it turns out maybe the red tape was meant to make them not do the exact thing that they did. The interrogation of researcher Becker had an immediate effect on the amount of cross-department chatter that contained sensitive information. Unfortunately, it also made the suspected Edison leak go silent. We are therefore no further along in our investigation over exactly what material has been compromised. I am hereby requesting that a more hands-on approach be taken in order to assure the continued security of the Helios. We cannot afford another grand-scale sabotage. Once is enough. I am aware of how uncomfortable Mr. T is with these less sophisticated measures, but doing it is the own, uh, doing it the old-fashioned way is sometimes the only option. Information Officer Strutman. What you see here, what you do here, when you leave here, let it stay here. So this, this is Vegas, this is Switzerland, this is neutral ground. Our carelessness is Edison's secret weapon. Just a bunch of top secret plans going through a porthole. Hi. Noisy. Ooh, internal tube system. Don't worry, her research holds the key to everything. Secret note. Dick. Who was this message for? I don't know, maybe it was sent to us. It sounded like it just arrived. Oh, man, assuming direct control. Oh, this doesn't bode well for me. Ooh, we can go back this way. David Bishop, accompanied minor. Oh, there's the Tesla picture everyone knows. Tesla's death ray to make war impossible. <laughs> Loose pages of a newspaper. Te Nikola Tesla proposes to compel the world towards peace with the threat of immeasurable damage. So I was right to mention Dr. Manhattan a moment ago. His newly announced weaponry is about to go up for auction. It has nations all over the world scrambling for funds. Tesla's ship-mounted weaponry could annihilate an entire fleet. I guess not Dr. Manhattan, and what I should say is Ozymandias. Especially in the comic version, where it, it had nothing to do with Dr. Manhattan. Not to sound like a broken record comparing it to Bioshock. It's just, it's all I can think about when I look at some of the stuff. Uh, it certainly doesn't have the pacing of the beginning of Bioshock. Why? Oh, because there's some blood. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's a very strong music sting for... Not a particularly horrific room. There's some piles of stuff. A lot of people's passports are just left around. Sylvia Bishop. What? Okay. Are you a horror game? Or an immersive sim or a walking sim? I'm actually not sure. Jackpot! Infosec just sent a tube that corroborates uh, the dates and places. 
He's an Edison spy, all right. Your gut instincts were right again. It's, imp it's important that we make this one count. We need to tap him on all that he knows, whether he wants to sing or not. This is definitively a West-West situation. Feel free to get creative. West-West. Maybe that's the password to that one room I saw? Nikola Tesla recruits British intelligence officer to oversee information security above the Helios. Yep, er, always referencing another another high-profile person going to the Helios. Ah, here's one of these places. West-West. So this is how suspected Edison spies get interrogated aboard the Helios? Ugh. Wait until my editor hears about this. What kind of asshole puts his tools back still covered in blood? Like, you got blood in here? Or was it like the splatter zone? I mean, if you're hitting him so bad that the blood's getting in here from the splatter, you might be going too far. I think they're just going to die in a moment before you get any information out of them. So I'm, I'm assuming that they just put a gross thing back in, which I'm like, dude, respect your workspace. Like, sanitary. God damn. Like, I get that maybe you didn't mop, mop, mop the floor yet or something, but, like, you don't put the tools back like that. You're never gonna make it. Alright. So, I was right to think that West West was a code for this kind of thing. It's just, it's not the one that I ha actually knew that I need to solve. Which is the one, the first one I saw. So, now I know that I can probably find a clue in the room with that one, and it'll probably tell me how to do it. If I can find my way back to that place. It is very dark in here. I just know I'm going to get those complaints from some of the people that have the poorly calibrated displays. Where was I? Hello. You're open. <laughs> they drew it. Wow. Usually the person augmenting it doesn't have that good of a brush stroke, but that's some like... Those are clean lines. The horns, the tail, the coins, like that's a cartoonist that drew that those things. That's a very deliberate controlled stroke. I don't necessarily see anything else in here. Nope, nope, nope. The uh, Dr. Harnesk. There we go. So we're back to here. I figured we'd probably follow the tube. It worked for the first one. Uh, I can't really see the tube. Is it? Just, oh, it's just in there, isn't it? Right, because this is the combination that I tried to do before. That's the first one I found. So if I look around a bit, I might find a clue about how to open that. The same spy note over and over again. British Navy in pursuit of the Helios. Alleged kidnapping of prominent British mathematician has the world on edge. Hand him over, says the Prime Minister. Wait, Wardenclyffe denies wrongdoing, claims that Maxwell joined voluntarily. 
<laughs> Hand him over. Confirmed Edison agents? Seems like their rivalry is alive and well. Something about this looks odd. Oh yeah, that doesn't help. That the text is just clipped off the edge. Yeah. It's, yeah, Greenland is also clipped off. Like, if somebody built a map like this, it wouldn't be so strangely cropped. Unless this is a giant map, like this one, that's being folded around whatever the framing device is. I don't think I've read this yet, have I? In accordance to procedure protocol 812, officers greeted the shuttle from Sydney upon arrival. When the guest did not appear to be as instructed, the officers embarked on the shuttle to perform a standard search. The guest was not found aboard, neither was any of the issued warden cliff. Nah, we've already done this before. It just wasn't very memorable. There's no clue that I saw. Not the best security system, though. It's very easy to break. Which I might display in a moment here, just because I don't know necessarily where to go. But here's how you break this security system. That <laughs> startled me. North, north, apparently. What you do is you just rotate this four times, then that. Then that four times, then that, then that four times. Like, you just, you'll very quickly get through every possible combination. I did not expect it to be done that quickly, though. Armless. I imagine he's pretty easy to find. He doesn't got no arms. Ananya Patel. That should do it. Now to find Ada. I'm sure it'll be that easy. No big deal. Ooh. A worn keycard used for the Helios entrance elevator. Neat. Got it. Just plop that in there. Nice then to leave that there for me. Nicola apparently has to <laughs> What the hell? Oh hi. Hey! hey! Shit. I didn't. <laughs> I'm missing the jump scares by wanting to, like, look around the environment. <laughs> like, oh, what's over there? Ah, what's the, what are we, what are we afraid of? Uh, and then I have to, like, I have to, like, take stock of what happened to find what ha what we were being startled by. <laughs> this is probably about all the time we got for now. I'll look around for a moment when it loads the next zone. But that's about the time we have for an episode, generally speaking. If you guys are interested in this game, Close to the Sun, uh, you can check out the link in the description. Uh, I think I think it's currently only on Epic Store, but I could be wrong. Uh, the link in the description is a referral link, so if you do end up buying this game, I do get a percentage of the cut. So it's one way of supporting the channel if you choose to. Chapter 2. Oh. We've already made some progress, apparently. I just want to say thank you to the developers for sending out a code so I could preview their game. And, you know, thanks for watching. Let's take a look at how the chapter starts. Well, it seems better lit up here. We're at the Teslatorium. Okay, I gotta take a look at this. Oh my god. That is absurd. Welcome to the Teslatorium, featuring pictures of Tesla and hey, exposed lightning. Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the? I repeat, this is lead Ada? researcher Archer calling for any survivors Anything? on this frequency. Is anyone? Ada. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That 
That doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... Ada! Ada! Ugh, come on! Oh. Ada, get a better signal with this thing. She did a little idle animation of, ah, oh, I'm bored, I'm gonna dust myself off in the middle of this crucial moment. How many times in, across all these different video games and movies and so on does somebody say, listen carefully, and then their audio transmitter breaks down and that in the next sentence immediately? It's incredible. All right, well, that's a... Uh... That was an animation. Uh, this is, uh... yeah, this is close to the sun. I got- I ended up having a more climactic ending to the episode than I thought I would. That was, a uh, that was nice to get to. So yeah, check it out if you want to. See you guys next time. Bye!